G'day guys, my name is Huey Liu and I'm a Senior Services Architect based out of the Melbourne CA office. Today we're going to talk about Site Minor Concepts. Let's have a look at the various entities involved. We have a user who is trying to access a service over the web. Then there is an identity provider who will exert the identity of the user and a service provider who will provide the service to the end user. The terminology such as identity provider and service provider will change with the various different standards, however the concepts will remain the same. In this video we will identify SAML 2.0 web single sign-on profiles. They are post binding methods and artifact binding methods. Both of these are supported by SiteMinder. Let's have a look at the post binding method. In step 1, the user requests a resource from the service provider. As the user is not logged in, in step 2, the service provider redirects the user to the identity provider for authentication. In step 3, the user then provides the authentication credentials and successfully logs on to the identity provider. In step 4, the identity provider then returns a page that posts the SAML assertion to the service provider. In step 5, the service provider validates the SAML assertion and allows the user through to the target resource. Note that in this post binding method, there is no direct communication between the identity provider and the service provider. The service provider would accept the SAML assertion from the user and validate that SAML assertion. Let's have a look at the artifact binding method. In step 1, a user requests a resource from the service provider. As the user has not logged in, the service provider will then redirect the user to the IDP, to the identity provider, for authentication in step 2. In step 3, the user would validate their credentials to the identity provider and successfully log in. In step 4, the identity provider will then save the SAML assertion to the session store and redirect the user to the service provider with a SAML artifact in the query string. The service provider will then take the SAML artifact and request a SAML assertion for that artifact from the identity provider over a secure channel. In step 6, the identity provider then provides the SAML assertion matching the SAML artifact to the service provider. In step 7, the service provider then validates the SAML assertion and redirects the user to the target resource. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, please visit the CA Learning site.